Alright gamers, welcome. Ooh. This is looking like a free kill for me, right? She's surely a barrier, right? Oh shit, ghost. Huh. We're gonna get a lot of level 1 DPS out of this. Ooh, Pike just condemned himself to death with that. All he had to... Whatever. <laughs> All he had to do was just run a straight line away and just flash away and I'm sure he would have been fine. He couldn't cue me, because that would be pulling me towards him. He just had to run. Um, we can't actually crash this wave, so let's not overforce it too hard. We'll crash the second wave. I'll try and make that clear with this ping. I'm not really afraid of them, so I'll just use my Q for attack speed. I don't have my E or my W though, so... Shoving is very inconvenient right now, but we can do it. Oh, whoops. I only targeted one minion. Okay. Well, that was a weird start to the game. Let's hope I can finish this recall here. Please don't cancel me. Please don't cancel me. You're kidding. He must have had vision, right? That doesn't make sense otherwise with how crazy that timing was. I could just choose to stay. Huh? The guy is psychic, I think. That's the only explanation. But anyway. Horrible start for the vein. We know she only has ghost, not a real combat summoner. Hopefully that kills her. Having no vision is really awkward for me there. Oh, thank god. Wow. Okay, well, we can just leave the wave here. Actually, I would like the cannon. Does she have a stack soon? No. And it's also awkward I'm doing this in plain vision. God damn it. She's not supposed to know that I finished my base when I finish it. But oh well. Uh, let's see. We can go for Vamp Scepter. Yeah, we'll do this. Oh, man. I did not get to do an introduction at all this game. Oh, this crashed a little bit sooner than I wanted it to as well. Fuck. That sucks. I should have thinned it out, I guess. My bad. I didn't consider it might be too big. But anyway, okay, we're going to show you how to build and play Twitch in patch 14.19. So the build we're going to be doing, well, there's really two builds you can do basically right now on Twitch. There is the crit build and there's the unhit build. They start off very similar, so you can decide like mid-game which build you want to do. The crit build is going to be more effective against squishy champions. The unhit is better anti-tank a little bit and spikes sooner, like each item power spike is at least to the third item point. Uh, just more fluid with the build you already have, whereas crit is more for scaling. So this game, uh, looking at the comp, I think crit could be quite effective, although for Ramus it would be a little bit annoying. We might end up doing on hit depending on how strong Ramus gets. Oh my god, I got blocked into the range of that. I actually don't want to hit her because I want to get this plating. Oh, God. I wasted so much time just because of that minion block blocking me into the pike queue, man. I shouldn't have had to die there. That really sucks. I just wanted to get the plating on ward. Let's see. Like, I've clearly got minion cover. And then it just blocks me and makes me walk to the left. Tragic. Yeah, before we go into either crit or on hit, we are going to be doing Bork Rush, and then we transition that into Runance. Very timeless, classic Twitch Atoms. Oh. Kind of cost me some CS here, Jana. Damn it, and I'm costing myself CS. Alright, we can just slow push here. Which means I would like to m kill minions when they're as low HP as possible, not have Janna one-shot them when they're half HP. Like, this is bad, this is not slow pushing. <laughs> but, you know, can't micromanage my- can't mind control my support at least, so. Okay, Ramos is currently mid. It's good to pay attention where he's going. He's going bot side. 
Also, Momo is on his jungle, so let's shove this and maybe we can join a fight there. I think it was just looking to gank us. By the way, what the- wait, oh, he's troll- oh, he doesn't have smite! Oh, that is so unfortunate for him. Okay, we are not needed there. It was worth moving up, though, because I can't do anything to them while they're under turret anyway. Okay, then I'm here, no point continuing the stealth, we'll just take the pink. If Janna tanks it, this is a really good fight. There's no way to sense badly for us. Dude, I can't get behind the minions. Okay, whatever. I managed to get the full E proc on Bane and a lot of stacks on Pike as well. If they wanted to fully commit to the Janna kill there, they would just have to die for it. There was no choice. That's why I just make... I'm not even trying to juke the Pike you there. I'm literally just standing behind Janna. Because I know that it's so badly for them if they don't land the hook on me. Oh, crap. I'm definitely dead here, but I might get Vayne. Oh, come on. Uh, Vayne is just letting me kill her there. I guess she doesn't know how Twitch works. Yeah, this Ramus is way too behind, though. Poor guy. <laughs> He's still there. I mean, he can't clear his jungle, I suppose. We should expect really heavy Ramus camping. Uh, I don't have the capability to crash this on this mana, so... Just want to thin it out to base on it, but... With Ramus just laning bot, there's not really going to be a chance for a good base here either way, I don't think. I'll just base on it. It's a good base, at least. Pretty close to Bork. Nearly got level 6. I don't know why I just cost myself a CS just to <laughs> get the ward. Not worth. Pothing over initially was fine in case there is some sort of fight that happens there, but shouldn't protest the ward over a CS. The ward is only worth 5 gold, I believe. If it was a supports ward, that would be a different matter, but still questionable. Okay, we see Ramus top. Poor guy still only has 10 CS. Like, if, if that was camps, he basically only has two and a half camps. Nine minutes into the game, it's obscene. It's kind of crazy that he's only one level beneath me when you put it that way, but he's probably been taxing a lot from lanes, you would imagine. Ow. It's fine, I'm not quite under turret there. Oh, actually, I didn't want to disengage there. If I was taking turret aggro, maybe, but... Yeah, that was a pretty bad disengage from Jonah. That if they continue dragging that out, that'll be really bad for them. Oh, see now that could be worth her ulting. Oh, one Marauder would have killed her, and she didn't even get hit by the E. That's so crazy, man. So illegal. She should have pushed me outside of the. Ah, oh, goddammit. I might be able to live though. We'll see. Uh, I cancelled one auto, no, or rather I auto attacked the minion. I, th I think I did it twice, that or I cancelled the last auto. I should have been able to kill Vayne there though. Once I flash, she needs to be focusing on getting away. I say auto attacked her once, auto attacked the cannon once. No, I did auto attack her there, I think it's Oh, my E just didn't go off. Okay, even though I saw the animation. That's why I thought I cancelled an auto. That's just Twitchy being weird. Well, with my E not going off, maybe I wouldn't have actually killed her, even if I didn't misclick on the cannon. Hard to say. But anyway, obviously looking at the state of Ramus, I doubt he's going to be much of a problem. So we're probably just going to go full crit, since basically everybody else in his team is just full squishy, who I can just basically three-shot if I go for a crit build. Oh, 
I've already got Bork, maybe I just base for it. I'll just hit this once for the assist. Gives me... Maxes out my Alacrity, I think. No, it hasn't maxed it out yet, but it gives me stacks at least. And also gives me XP. Nope, it's John. I was wondering why she wasn't faster than Pike. Oh, oh my god. No! That's not worth going for. Very bad ult. Like, he probably doesn't die, but it was also just not a... Like, you know, if he wasn't going to get kills out of it, it was a bad ult, you know? She's out of range to use her re on me. And she's dead. Get a minion block, but that's fine. Oh, Just barely can't kill Pike, sadly. One more auto would have done it. Would have given me also one more E-stack. I think I should be fine. Mm, if he flashes on me, though. Needs to dodge at least one of his skill shots. Or I just go straight on to Ramus. It's a risk, no matter what, but fuck it. Okay, Ramos should be dead. Need to make sure I use E? Oh my god, the Ramos is too tanky, never mind. Never mind. I did get my E off right before I got taunted, but it didn't matter. He has an obscene amount of armor, holy shit. I guess his armor was uh, making his tankiness very misleading there. How much damage am I dealing per auto? I saw 38 there. No, it's li I can literally see 20 damage, holy shit. 138 AD and I was reduced to dealing 20 damage proto on top of having the Bork passive as well. Oh, and that also baited me a little bit, of course. Because, of course, you do more damage to higher HP opponents than you do to uh, low HP opponents. Don't you? So, of course, my damage seemed like it suddenly wasn't enough. Because it literally was lower. Whoops. So I guess if I wanted to go for anybody there, it kind of had to be, like... Isn't it kind of crazy, though, that apparently League of Legends is designed in, w in a way where a guy forgets to take Smite and literally cannot farm anything at all? And he's literally one level below me and fucking destroying me in ganks? He, he has 15 farm, man. Just massively chunked there, at the very least. Okay, she'll escape. Now she has no HP to lane with, though. Thing is, I don't want to get close enough to her that she just ease me away and then she survives. I have to kite her E range to kill her. Ramus is on the way. There's still a pink in that brush. Jesus Christ. Well, he's got no more W. No, there it is. There it is. What the fuck is that cooldown? I was trying to get in range to make sure I could EM once his armor runs out, but it just wasn't running out. Can we get any help here, by the way? Amumu was literally nearby. I think I'm just dead here. That's crazy. Amumu just ganked me and died instead. That's really sad. He's a lot stronger than the Ramas. He should be trying to actually make use of that, not just abandoning his bot lane to get dived 3v1. Hmm. I may have to take back what I said. Ramas might actually become an issue. Might actually already be an issue despite his circumstances. So maybe I do just go Terminus third and go straight into one hit. Because once I commit to Terminus, there is no. Going at full crit off there. Please don't have ult, please don't have ult, please don't have ult. Oh, thank god, she used it to kill. Oh. I have to flash that. Ah, <sighs> missed the cannon. Yeah, honestly, I think we might lose this game. Because the Garen is extremely behind, and Ramus is behind Amumu, sure, but no, not nearly behind enough to justify how destroyed the top laner is. 
And even even the entire bottom side of the map, which which is completely unaffected by Garen getting destroyed, we're getting fucking demolished. Or not demolished, but... Like, I'm not l winning all of my fights even though I was insanely ahead of the enemy bot lane. That is so illegal. Like, I'm insanely ahead of the enemy bot lane. Amumu is insanely ahead of Remus, but we lose every fight involving the enemy bot lane and Remus. How does that work? That doesn't make sense. I might be able to go Pike there. Maybe. Oh, he's probably coming for me. Still quite a bit away from Runans. It was too far away for me to join. Need more help as well. I can't really go for plays if I never have my support with me. We can try and kill Syndra here, maybe. I think Pike already wasted some cooldowns at least. Okay, she's dead. Beautiful. She might not have had her E up, so that would mean I actually played it too defensive. I was trying to stay max enough range that I can still dodge her Kiwi, hopefully, if she cost it. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm actually fine. His taunt didn't last long enough. Thank God. Man, that unit is insanely hidden levels, what the hell? Oh, fuck's sake, they see me. Stupid plant. Now I can't surprise him, he's expecting me. Maybe we can kill him here, though? Wow, he went really far back. Though we have a Mumu in the area, he needs to just actually join, though. Yeah, like, we can't fight if he doesn't join, man. I'll ping her back. It's sad to say, but I'm literally getting jungle gapped by a Flash Ignite Ramus jungle. Nice. Is Pike gonna, or rather, Yone gonna stay here? No. It's kind of cheesy, but I could run straight from top to bot. Ah. Well, not the gank anymore. Well, yeah, still the gank. There's just not going to be a Garen receiving the gank. Ramus is in the area, though. Okay, he's dead. His W is out, I think, so I can start heading him. And so fourth item usually with this build, like we're gonna go Terminus for the armor pen. And then usually you'd want to go Ginsu's, but I might just want to go with Send instead, because it's gonna be insanely valuable, both to reduce the damage from the Ramus and also the Syndra. Who is that? Syndra. We might be able to kill her. I think she just saw me, right? There's no Ramus to be afraid of at least. Ooh. Fuck. No, please die. I need to keep him keep him in vision. 
No, he went out of vision. Fuck, and she never ulted. God damn it, that's so unlucky, man. Oh, dude. I should have flashed forwards, my bad. God damn it. But he was literally about to die. It just needed him not to go out of vision. He was gonna die to the next tick, but then he started healing from his passive. Fuck, man. That's really tilting. At least we have every Jake so far. Another one just spawned. It's the one good thing about Remus not having smite. There's been literally no other benefit right now. He's not behind as if he doesn't have smite. He's ganking every lane. The only thing they are losing from it is objective since he doesn't have smite to secure them. We should be trying to get this one though. Oh, hello! I guess he had vision there. Should be able to live again, though. As long as nobody else comes. Oh, I didn't even get it. Still, he died, though. Even on this HP, I might be able to still do something. I would love to life still, though, but if Yone doesn't leave, then I just can't. Sad. He doesn't even know that he's zoning me here. As far as he's concerned, he's just pushing a turret. Holy shit, this guy has 20 magi stacks though. Yone doesn't seem to have the kind of impact that I thought he might. It's looking promising that we'll still win anyway, but it's definitely not been the most satisfying of games at all for me. Nice. Ooh, close. That should be a kill if she does not flash up. Got him. Even just the Terminus is going to be nice. I'm going to be getting extra resistances from that, so that'll, uh... Whoa. Oh, that must have been a vision plant. I thought Pike was near me. You're kidding me. I need to wait for this to time out. I can't hit him while he's got his W active. Yeah, I take 69 damage per hit. Minimum. But yeah, I'll get resistances from Terminus. That'll make me much more effective against Ramus. But really, I'm waiting for the Wits End Par Spike above all. But I can't do that third, though, because I do need the armor pen for the Remus, for sure. I'm gonna go for the Raptors here, too. Maximize my farm while our team isn't in a position on the map to be joining them for a fight. <sighs> Reeled again by plants, what the hell, man? Dude, I stopped maining Twitch around the time when they introduced these elemental drakes, I think. Jesus, what, like, this map just gives so many vision plants. That's so annoying for a champion who wants to set up invisible plays. <laughs> God, imagine being countered by a map. Oh my word, what? What was that? Almost could have died there. Maybe we can get Yone here. He just queued forwards. Got him. Um, I can probably just keep on pushing here. Get some free farm. 
Honestly, I think the next thing I'm building is literally just a Negatron Cloak, not even uh, recoverable. Okay, if they're gonna fight, hopefully it's a good one. It does look like it is. This is the best of both worlds. I get the free farm and my team wins even though I didn't join them. And potentially we can get Baron off of that. I mean, there's no way they can steal it, right? Right? Once that I have to be afraid of the enemy jungler getting near the Baron. Nice. Alright, Drake is up in one minute. Let's be ready for that. Yeah, for the record, if you do want to do the... Uh, Twitch crib build, because I don't think I'll bother making a separate video for that, or a separate game. Uh, third item, you would just do Infinity Edge, maybe Lord Dominix, if they really do have armor and you still want to do crit anyway. And then which you build whichever you didn't build, presumably... He's dead. That's a play he can't go for if I have flush up, so he was taking a coin flip there. Oh boy. Janna could ult them away. Okay, there it is. Oh, I almost killed her. Okay, she's dead. Ramus is about to die too, isn't he? And holy shit, my damage really spiked after this terminus. God damn. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and there's gonna be the FF. So yeah, I hope, think that covered everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it educational. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more educational content like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.